So today, boy, do we have some more fun to do and to get into. Um, we can now go back to the Twilight Forest. I got everything fixed. I went ahead and forced the advancement here. And this is the one I needed to force to get everything else to work. And everything else is now working, except for this one, which I think I actually have to hunt down one of these guys. But other than that, everything seems to be working just fine. We can actually now go to the Lich at the top, which is perfect meaning we now have access to this bad boy and we should be able to go ahead and finish everything and I should have enough food. So let's go ahead and dive in and let's get started. I mean, this, I mean, shouldn't be too difficult, right? Going to make sure our night vision is on. I think this dimension actually doesn't bother with any of my stuff and we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and find the lich, which I think there's, there's a couple that were behind me, but I think this is probably the closest one is the one that's over here. Man, I, I actually really like this biome. By the way, this wood right here is some really cool looking wood when it's broken down. I might actually use some of this to uh, build with. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? And I actually plan on this series being a little bit longer than my normal series. So those that are excited about this potentially being a longer let's play, of course, it's going to be quite much. It's going to be a, a lot longer um, simply because there's so much more content. Where is this dragon? Um, okay, just a random dragon just sprawled out there. All right, right here is our tower. Didn't take too long to get here. Um, but what we need to do is go to the very top and I could probably just go ahead and make my way through here the normal way. And uh, of course, breaking through. Definitely probably not the normal way, but there is gonna be a lot of loot in here. So let's go ahead and do some exploring. Usually there's, yeah, a ladder here. And that opens up to some chests, which has some of this transforming power, instant damage of or instant of harming. I'm gonna take all this stuff, including all these books and bookshelves. Why not? Many of these I can get, uh-oh. Oh, I didn't mean to break a block. That's not good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's one problem. If you break blocks in this dimension or in these buildings, sometimes they're not going to drop the thing that you want them to drop. But here we go. Look at that. I can grab some cactus. Lots of cactus in here, by the way. Wet. I will take all of that cactus. Thank you. Where'd my magnet go? I thought I had a magnet on me. Let me already throw bunch of this stuff out and there we go and I'll make sure to put all this other stuff in my bag I don't really need a lot of this stuff on me all right so there we go we're ready to go magnet are you in here yes you are nice I'll take advantage of that all right so let's get up here and take this bad boy on oh yeah we're going all the way up here like I said, there there is loot in some of these other rooms, so if you feel like exploring them, of course, go for it. There's always loot in some of these, like especially these, where they go up to the top here. Oh yeah, loot chest. And sometimes you get some nice things, like a charm of life is actually pretty nice. Three minute fire resistance, speed potion. I'll take them. Don't really need anything else, but I'll take that. There we go. All right, we're almost up there. It is just a short run, at least when you have speed as fast as us. And once you're up here, we should be ready to go. All right, so hopefully I can hit this with this tool. And hopefully things will work out all right. Oh, there we go, okay. Will you throw it at me? Oh, there it went. All right, shoot him at me. It's going a little slow, this one, for some reason. Wow, how am I supposed to react to that? Nice. I need the Ender Pearls. The Ender Pearls is what breaks the shield. And I'm waiting. And waiting. Okay. There we go. 
So it's taking a little bit of time. I don't know. It's not laggy or anything. It's just uh, not recognizing me for some reason. I mean, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Come on, focus on me. I hit you. Ah, oh, I should have hit it. Miss it. There we go. All right, they should throw the ender pearls. That one glitched out of here. All right, give me some ender pearls to hit. There we go. Nice. Was able to hit that one. You guys do this. It makes it kind of hard, right? There we go. Give me Ender Pearl. Nice. So we almost have this shield. Two more, and we're ready to go. All right, throw me an Ender Pearl. Oh, Fireball. Give me Ender Pearl, though. Got his, got his arm up. About to throw it. Oh. Yep. That does no damage. I'm super surprised at how like, little damage we still actually do. Or how little damage we actually take. Oh, I completely missed that one. I was never really good at baseball. <laughs> oh, man. I wish this would go a little bit faster. Normally it does. I don't know why it's taking so long. It seems a little bugged out. And those the wrong Ender Pearl, please. Man, oh man. Not being fair today. Wow. All right, these guys are not doing anything. There we go. Give him to focus on us. Oh, there we go. Oh, perfect. They're losing focus on me for some reason. There we go. Now we got her down. Or him. And three shots and it's it's gone. That's a lot of damage. All right. And did it complete? Yes, it did. So that means we can now move into bigger and better things. And uh, we end up getting the zombie scepter, which is normally the one that I always end up getting most of the time from this. So don't feel too bad that I got it. Feels just right. All right. And yeah, we can literally just leave this area. That is if you don't want any of the string. Look at that. I'll take all that. All right. So next boss time to uh, head that way. Even though it's not exactly the same kind of boss, it's uh, more or less a maze. So, this is it. You're going to find kind of this hill looking structure. It's right here on our map, right where I'm spinning. And uh, yeah, it's right next to the, uh, not the Naga, the uh, Hydra. And so yeah, we can't go into the Hydra layer yet because we have to go through this first. And so what you want to do, just drop down and... Honestly, it's going to be best to like check chests and things like that. Go through here, attack all these mobs. And I mean, the best you can. Like, what is that thing supposed to do? Go after these guys. Um, try your best to go through this. Some of these chests might be uh, a little bit uh, rigged. You never know. So try and be careful. I don't really need any steel leaf stuff. Um, but yeah, the hardest part about this is literally just going around and figuring out this maze. Um, finding the next layer is what I always struggle with, is finding the second layer. Um, and then after that, it's actually pretty simple. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to go through here. I'm going to see if I can't potentially get a maze map focus. That's also another thing you want to look for in all these chests. Um, usually they're found in some of the, uh, the square rooms, but... Yeah, I mean, if you were to go up underneath this, you'll find that there's actually a layer of bedrock separating these sections. So don't think you can just mine through this stuff. Even though you probably could get through this after mining for a little while, you could definitely mine through it. TNT is also another great method for figuring out where things are at. 
Do I recommend that way? No, I mean, I recommend going through it yourself. It's kind of fun. Now, here we are. This is the room that I'm looking for right here. And I gotta be very careful because one of these actually has TNT in them. We can go ahead and just take these guys out real quick. Wait, there we go. They really didn't like that. I gotta be careful because one of these has TNT stored inside. Um, but right here, not really anything I, I want here. Let's see, this one's the one that has a pressure plate for TNT. And didn't get anything, but I did get a charm. I will take that. I am looking for the map focus and yeah, I just haven't found it yet, but I am getting somewhere. I think this is the right path for finding the, the tunnel down. Here we are. This is exactly what I've been looking for. And I just found it. After uh, going through all of this, yeah, this is what you're gonna be looking for. It does take a little bit of time to get to this thing. I have no idea why I can no longer fit, there we go, in these areas. So yeah, pretty much the same thing, except this layer, I think, gives us access to the, uh, the lower level here. Like, I think this gives us access to the bottom section. Still looking for that, that map focus. I could get it any time. I appreciate it. So yeah, we should find the boss down here. I think it's only, I think there's only two layers. Oop, uh, yep, I see the mushroom starting. So, I mean, it'd be really nice. Uh, sometimes I've gotten really lucky and I find it right off the bat. Not all the time though. It's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, very infrequent. Kill these guys. Also, this is a pretty decent source of food, even though it seems kind of like cannibalism. This part cow, part human, right? All right? Give me that map focus. Oh. No map focus there and TNT there. And just to show you. Yeah, let's set it off. Oh, no, no, don't bring me over there. Stop. <laughs> it almost shot me over there. Oh, that's a TNT trap too. As you can see, the TNT kind of opens things up a little bit though. At least I can kind of roam around and find my way. All right, here we go. This is exactly what I was looking for. And uh, this is going to allow us to uh, spawn this guy in. As you can see, he just spawned in. A couple pop shots with the arrow should take care of this fella. You know, and I think, you know, just to just to do this. Boom. I mean, that was nothing to take this guy out. And usually you'll find a lot of stuff. I don't. Oh, there's the map focus. So, yes, I still want to use the map focus. Because every time I've tried this in other mod packs, same goes for those other mod packs. I've always failed this. Um, why do I fail it? I have no idea, but it always ends up exploding on me. So yes, I want to try and not do that this time. So I have all the materials on me ready to go. Um, let's also take my stew, leave it up here. And, uh, what I want to do is take my paper out. We can, uh, oh, I thought we could open this up. Maybe we can't. I was, maybe, you know, we need some kind of crafting table. Oh, I was hoping that I would be able to open this up and it actually work, but it doesn't. I don't have any kind of portable crafting table, nor do I have... Can you break down fence? And turn it back into its parts? I don't think you can. Unfortunately. Hmm. We may not be able to do the map focus then. Not if that doesn't work. So I ended up finding the exit, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop down a little bit of this tree make myself a quick crafting table so I can go ahead and make this map focus because I really do want that pick if I can get it. That'd be really nice. I'll take the enchants off of it potentially. All right, so we got just about everything ready to go. Um, and what I want to do is when I get all the way down here, this is the bottom again. Let's see, we went through. Um, let's go ahead and open this up and just walk through this maze. And I'm looking for a very specific pattern to form. And you can put this in your offhand. That'd probably work even better. And yeah, I'm looking for a specific pattern to form on this map as I'm going through it. And I can also kind of see the map on the JEI, which kind of, it's almost like cheating up there. Um, but I couldn't actually, you know, spawn it that way, um, which normally you can. But this map is a lot clearer. Okay, so I think I've found the room that I'm looking for. You see this really dark square? 
that has shown up here. This is actually what I'm looking for. Um, I need to make sure my magnet is on. Make sure we have everything cleared out that I don't need. And yeah, I could probably even throw this in there for now. That. Because I want to be able to suck up all the stuff that's going to happen here. And it can get kind of messy. So if I go directly in this, it's going to take a long time. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go step by step. And eventually, I'm going to see some pressure plates. And hopefully we get lucky with the chests that are inside. All right, so right here is exactly what I was hoping for. This is the secret room. The only thing stopping us, though, is the pressure plates. And this is super dangerous. Um, because we don't want this, we don't want the pressure plate, uh, pressure plates to activate. So I might be able to, yeah, or excavate that and potentially or excavate all of those. And there we go. Awesome. So now we can loot all of this stuff and, uh, hope that we get the maze breaker. It's not guaranteed to get the maze breaker. But we, we have the ability to maybe get it. Oh, we got a punch and infinity bow. Not the greatest. Oh, man. Hope the last chest is promising. All right. Let's hope. Nope. We did not get it. So out of all that, we did not get it on this maze, unfortunately. Um. So, I mean, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. In this case, we definitely lost. So now is the time to go fight the Hydra. Probably one of my favorites of the bosses. The uh, the Hydra's just the coolest looking one in my opinion. And uh, man, just has some really cool animations and is actually a pretty decent boss to fight. I mean, that is if you're not super kitted up like I am at the at this moment. I think we, are, we can probably kill it in just a few swipes. So let's go ahead and take on this bad boy. But first, where's the dragon at? There's gotta be a dragon nearby. Oh. There it is. Um, I think we should probably take care of the dragon first. Yeah, probably. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let go. Let go. I don't want to die here. It's a bad place to die. But, I mean, we're we're hurting it. We literally just killed it. Oh man. Alright, this guy should be just as easy. Oh my goodness. Just basically go for the heads and I guess hope that your sword one shots it. Oh my, this thing had about 1800 health, something crazy like that. Oh my goodness. And we got our Hydra chops. We ended up getting some fairy blood and we also got ourselves some dragon scales, which is kind of nice. There we go. Well. That was a little easier than I thought. This sword is beyond overpowered at this point. I, I really think that once we get uh, the higher upgraded sword that does like 25 damage and we transfer the enchants over to it. Oh man, is this sword going to just destroy anything it touches? I mean, it's already quite insane. What's up here? Oh, one of you guys. Anything fancy? Ooh, we got some food. I'll take that. Hmm. Uh, we're probably gonna have to set up some kind of uh, farm. I want to. I want to feed my dragon, but we need some kind of animal farm for that. And I think a cow farm, just having a cow just randomly spawn and us collect uh, all the drops from it, would definitely work for that. That's something that I definitely want to go for. What do we have down here? Nice, some deer. Okay, so after killing that guy. I mean, there's still like several other things to do. Um, so let's take a look at where we have to go now. Um, so after we kill the Hydra, we've kind of completed one of the three different tiered sections here. Um, there's the Hydra job. Nice overpower, overpowered Hydra meat when your food. I wonder if you could summon the Hydra. Nah, probably not. Probably not. I was thinking maybe that's the thing, but nope. Um, so we have this, the ultimate showdown. We do have to, um, go after this, which is a prerequisite, I think, to the wintry area. So on our map, 
the only other places we have left to go um, before we get some really cool building items. Let's see. We have to go to that. Uh, well, I, I'm not really seeing the area yet. Uh, the pink area normally has something there too. Uh, maybe I just need to clear the map more. We'll go further down. Um, we'll do some more exploring. Hopefully not stir up any crazy large dragons. Uh, but I think directly down, I'm not seeing any Urgast areas. That is probably going to be all the way across this map, way on the other side. So guys, the next place for us to go is deep inside these woods. Um, so yeah, this is the dark forest. Normally it would be this dark. Let me go ahead and turn off night vision. Yeah. A little dark, a little creepy. You guys probably can't see a thing until I turn night vision back on. Then we're all good. So thank goodness for night vision. That makes our lives way, way better. Um, so all we got to do is find our way through here. Now the map is going to be our friend. We are at the bottom of the map. And actually I'm standing right over an area that should get us, like we should be like right near it. Maybe I overshot, so over here. Um, sometimes you'll see some definite damage to the ground. It'll almost be like this thing is sticking up out of the ground. But yeah, this is definitely one of the harder dungeons, I think. Oh yeah, there's definitely something happening here. Ah, and here we go. Yes, yeah, so this is what you're going to look for. And there we go. We've made it to this part. Um, so, how we activate it? Well, we're going to take any of the heads, place it on, and voila. We're ready to go. And you can pick the head back up when you're done. You can even take the trap and everything else with you. So guys, oh man, we have a lot more to do. I hope you guys continue to watch uh, next episode. We are going to continue through the Twilight Forest. And uh, I think we're going to come back this time. And we're definitely going to grab some of these blocks. Um, I'm thinking about quarrying this out and utilizing some of the blocks that we get from the different areas that we use a uh, quarry builder on. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, guys, I'll see you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching.